Oh, okay. So, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's been a bit since um, I've done an update video. I'm just talking to you guys and gals. Uh, it's been a bit. Um, pretty much everything's still been the same. Still been the same. Pretty much everything's still the same. Um, health issues have gotten a little bit better. Could, could be could be better. I've always did. Could always be better, but um, you know everything's tolerable. Not nauseous. I haven't been nauseous in about I'd say three weeks now. Like constantly nauseous to the point where I have to call off of work. Um, had issues here and there, but you know, missed a couple of days, three days in the past uh, three weeks. So not great, but not bad. Um, the main reason why I wanted to talk to you all was about the Patreon. Um, even my patron, who I did have for the longest, I think they finally just abandoned ship. Um, I'm probably just going to kill the Patreon for now. If not, just completely just delete it. Um, it's not going anywhere. Um, I promote it, um, I, you know, I have the rewards and stuff, everything up there, I have free content that's up there, um, you don't even have to be a patron in order to get, um, free music downloads, um, stuff like that, it just seems like my gears are spinning as far as Patreon is concerned, I'm doing better on here than I am on Patreon, so, I'm just going to nix that all together. Uh, I'm going to try and figure out, I'm probably going to do a Dropbox or a uh, Google Drive specifically for the channel, so that way, um, if you guys are interested in any of my music, that way you can get your hands on it for free. Um, if you do feel generous enough that you want to donate, um, I will leave a link to my PayPal. You can donate whatever you feel like donating to that. Or you can um, you can email me, and if you want to be, if you feel generous, I know um, Danny. He was so generous enough to donate some games. Don't worry, Danny. I didn't forget about uh, Evil Land Two. That's on the back burner for now. Um, there's a lot of stuff that's on the back burner. New Vegas is on the back burner. Evil Land Two is on the back burner. Final Fantasy Seven is on the back burner. Uh, GTA is on the back, or GTA 3 is on, or GTA 3, GTA 5 is on the back burner, there's a lot of games, uh, Final Fantasy 15 is on the back burner, I even promoted that and I was looking forward to doing that for, um, for November, uh, and I can't because the PC just, it handles the game fine, it just doesn't like the game and recording software at the same time. So my next endeavor, I'm going to spend damn the damn near 200 bucks to go. I'm going on Amazon. I saw a CPU. It's um, a quad core for I think it was an i5 for 189. Um, that's a lot of money for me. My paychecks range anywhere between three to 500 bucks. So. Blowing 200 bucks on a CPU is very, very expensive. And that was why I initially started the, the Patreon so that, you know, you guys can help me and I can give you guys the content that you want. Well, I can't, so. We gotta do what we gotta do with. This is why most of the time I'm playing older games like Darksiders or just obscure games that no one really knows about like uh, Alien Breed or Tiny Metal. Um, I try to stay as popular or as new as possible, but when it comes to PC gaming, that's not the, the thing is, it's not it, because a lot of the times, a lot of the popular games, they're on console, and I don't want to... My console game is a little is lacking to say the least. Um, I have a PS3. I have games that I would love to record for PS3. It's just 
How can I put this? It would be very difficult to record because I'm back here and the gaming, the game system and all that's in the other room. It's in our bedroom. So for me to do that, um, I would either have to lug the PC in there and record that way or bring the PlayStation in here and lose a monitor. Or go buy a you know, secondhand monitor and do all the long, boring stuff, but I don't want to do all that. I'd rather keep it as simple as possible. Um, Raft doesn't seem to be getting a lot of attention, so I'm probably going to put the kibosh on that. I was having a lot of fun with it, but that seems like it's going nowhere. Um, I do have a couple prospects in the future, but I'm going to see where they go. Um, a main, another game I want to try and get into is Child of Lights. Um, I do want to do Dark Souls 3, but yet again, that's a recording issue. It doesn't like the recording software with OBS. It chugs for some weird reason. This PC confuses me. Like It runs Fallout 4 perfectly fine, and I've done test recordings of Fallout 4. It runs Metal Gear Solid 5 perfectly fine, done test recordings of that gorgeous 60 frames a second. GTA? Yet yeah, no, not happening. It barely, I barely get 30 frames. Oh, I get about 60 on medium settings, and I have to turn the settings on the low if I want to record. So that's not happening. Dark Siders is beautiful. That works. Um, all of those work. So that's not even an issue. We've all seen Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon, that's fine. Bonding of Isaac's fine, Terraria's fine, Minecraft, yeesh. Minecraft is a crapshoot. I don't know what's going on with Minecraft. Um, I have uninstalled Minecraft, I've reinstalled Minecraft. As far as client side, for me, is concerned with just plain old Minecraft, I keep having memory leaks and I don't know why. Uh, what a memory leak is, is Think of it as you have a bucket, you fill the bucket up, and you know how much the bucket can hold. The problem is, you have a hole in the bucket and you don't know where the hole's at, and water just it keeps requesting more and more water to the point where it can't request any more water because there is no more water. But that hole's still there. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, for some reason, I'll run the game for about 15 minutes and then, boom, it runs on a RAM. Which is weird. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Um, I did read some things. It's like, oh, my RAM's not fast enough. But I have gaming RAM. I have Ripjaw gaming RAM. That's rated at... Uh, 200, uh, 2,222 hertz. So, yeah. I bumped it up using um, Gigabit's little um, software. Um, it's the uh, apps, the App Center. And it has um, easy, easy tune. Um, I, os I overclocked the RAM and I bumped it up to let me see if I can pull it up here without having any issues. Um, the CPU is fine. Uh, it, I put it on a default um, profile. And the CPU core and the voltage are fine. It bumped it up a little bit. It went from 1 volt to 1.5 volts for the CPU for the PCH core and the um, DRAM voltage for channels A and B, and went from, um, yet again, one volt to 1.6 volts. So that's fine. That, that's perfectly fine. RAM, on the other hand, that's uh, memory frequencies up to 18. So, we're good. I mean, I have, it's a, I have an i3, Core i3 CPU, that's running at um, 3.6 gigahertz. So, it's a pretty decent 
um, CPU for what it is. It's an i3. It's a dual core. It's a 4160, but it's not great. <laughs> so, yeah, there's a lot of things that I could do in the past that I can't do now. I don't know if it's degradation of the CPU or not. Um, I know beforehand I was able to render two videos at once. Now I'm restricted to rendering one video at a time. So that's either, you know, I set up, I re edit videos and then set them up to render before I go to bed. And then in the morning I can upload and then I set up a video to render while I'm at work. And then when I come home, rinse and repeat, you know. But yeah, it's just, it, it's annoying. When before I was able to do two videos at once, now I can't. Even if I do two small videos, it it doesn't it doesn't like me. Give me one second, the missus. She's asking if I'm recording. Uh, cover your ears, children. In three, two, one. Yeah. Yeah, I am. Yeah. Uh huh. Yep. I know you hear me. <laughs> um, but yeah, so the main things that I, I, like I said, the main things I wanted to talk about were Patreon. I'm just going to leave it there, but uh, it's going to be even more neglected than normal. And I'm not even gonna promote it anymore on the videos. Uh, normally, towards the end of the videos, I'll leave uh, an info card at the top uh, right-hand side of the screen. I'm just gonna drop that all together. Um, it just seems like YouTube for me has gotten a lot easier because now I don't have to worry about, you know, every little, little detail as far as being able to monetize my videos is, is concerned. I'm just making content because I want to make content. And uh, someone had commented on one of my videos on uh, Google Plus and they said, you know, for as little subscribers as you have, you have so much passion, you know, you have potential. And that made me feel really, really good. You know, I don't need a million subscribers to do what I do. I'm going to keep doing it regardless. I would love to have a million subscribers, but, you know, I'm happy with the 80 that I have right now. I, I was so happy when I got one, let alone the 80 that I have now. And I just wanted to say thank you to every single one of you. Thank you. Um, what's going to happen in the future for the channel? I don't know. <laughs> It may stick to being gaming, it may evolve into something else. I know I said it in the past, but we'll see. It all depends on how the channel grows and where we go from there. You know, now I'm actually having fun because I don't have to worry about the business aspect of it. And sadly, that's always been in the back of my mind. It that oh my god, this is my this is my other job now. This is, this is my job, this is my other job. You know, this is business, 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 business. And I, when I first started recording, I didn't have that thought. And then I got 10 subscribers and then 12 subscribers. I'm like, oh my God, this is business, 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 business. It's not, this is a hobby, this is fun. Yes, I want it to be a business. Yes, I want this to give me some income, but thanks to some unscrupulous individuals and thanks to YouTube having to do stuff, something about it. This is no longer a business for me. And I'm in a way I'm kind of happy. I can relax. I can take my time and edit. I can talk the way I want to talk because I don't have to worry about my videos being demonetized. In reality, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a potty mouth. I'm filthy. I cuss like a sailor. But I try not to do that, um, especially when I'm on YouTube, because when I'm recording for you guys, I don't know who's watching. I don't know who's on the other end of this camera. And the last thing I want is some, which 
they should be being watched by their parents. The last thing I want is some kid who's enjoying one of my Minecraft videos and I drop in that comp. You know, no little kid who's five, six, seven years old needs to know what the, what the F word means. <laughs> Damn hell, shit, that's okay, you know. Oh, that's another word for poo, you're not allowed to say that yet. You know, damn is in the Bible. Hell is in the Bible. <laughs> I learned at a young age, those aren't words you're allowed to say just yet. When I turned 12, damn and hell, everybody around me got a little, a little bit laxed when I got 12, when I turned 12, so. You know, those are, those are, those are biblical. Those are old. Those are Shakespeare and Chaucer. <laughs> so, uh, a few other words, but we're not going to go there. Anyway, I prattled on long enough. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So, to reiterate, to um, summarize, um, I'm not going to be beating the Patreon to death. Um, I am going to do the like, comment, share, and subscribe stuff. That seems to be kind of a good thing. Um, the subscription and the um, notifications. Make sure that if you are subscribed to the channel that you do hit that bell icon for some reason Because of my infrequent uploads to the channel it kind of Messes with Subscription feeds for notifications Even for channels that have a whole bunch of views and they upload on a you know a regular schedule and yeah, there's times where I don't get their notifications to say, hey, you know, we uploaded a video. Um, I do know that it does work because Alpha Omega Sin just uploaded a video not that long ago. And the video before that, he did nine months before that. So, yeah, he it, it was kind of infrequent for him, but I did get a notification saying, hey, he uploaded. So it does, the notification bell does work, but sometimes it doesn't. So keep an eye on that. And uh, yeah. Then, uh, yeah, Patreon, gonna defunct that for a little bit. Um, like, comment, share, and subscribe. That's a new thing. Um, notification bell, make sure you clicked on it. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Um, contests, I'm going to try and do them, um, quarterly, if they're, if they catch on more and more, um, they're going to be in the range of card contests, and I'm going to do gift card giveaways as well, eventually, not right now, because that can get expensive. Um, we're going to start off with $25, and maybe $50. Um, the gift card giveaways are going to be on towards um, the holiday season, so November, to October, November, December, in that range. Uh, I'm thinking about doing a gift card giveaway in November, maybe December. We'll see, because that's, like I said, my paychecks range in over between three and four hundred dollars, so drop in. You know, after bills and stuff are paid, I usually have about anywhere between 100 to 200 dollars to my name. So dropping 100 bones for a contest is expensive. So, um, yeah. But we'll see. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this lovely update video. Um, gonna try and do the vlog slash updates more frequently. Um, just so you guys can see my lovely face. Anyway, um, yeah. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, hope you enjoyed today's video. As always, I'm your host, Jack Morgan, aka Blue Fox 22. As always, stay safe, stay as healthy as only possible. Above all, stay foxy. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you, ladies and gentlemen, in the next update. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, take care. Bye bye. Ha 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 ha.